Hey there and welcome to Puzzles with Mariana. This is the fifth video of my preparation for the Portuguese National Championship organized by Apple Puzzles, Portuguese Association of Puzzles. This is my first ever circular puzzle and I bought it to at least have a notion of how the pieces are since this type of puzzle has been used in different competitions. It's from Ravensburger, the sponsor of the Portuguese competition, from their collection Circle of Colors. At a time, I look at the available puzzles from this collection and the Pisa one seemed the hardest. And I think it's good to also practice harder puzzles. This puzzle also comes with a life-size toaster. Speed puzzling consists of doing a puzzle as fast as you can. Since I'll be participating in the individual competition, I only have to focus on 500-piece puzzles. For this puzzle, my goal would be to make it in less than 2 hours, close to 1 hour and a half. Let's see if I made it. I'll be making more videos of this in preparation for the national championship at the end of June. So subscribe to watch more if you have any interest in this type of content. I started by turning over every piece and I also separated the edge pieces plus some of the pieces from the middle. My initial thought was to start from the center Due, especially due to the different piece shapes, as some are curvier than other. I did most of the puzzle in a bit over half an hour, 35 minutes to be more specific, and everything was going smoothly, until it came the green. The green section of the puzzle slowed me down by a lot, and looking back, I think I didn't notice the different shades of green, and because of that, treating the rest of the colorful pieces as just green, I was feeling lost in that sea of green. Perhaps if I had noticed those differences, things would have been better. I'll try it next time to separate the two different tonalities of green. Midway through the green, I decided to focus on the pieces first. The goal of these competitions is to fit as many pieces as possible, so it doesn't make much sense to just stay on the green and panic about it. Besides, I was losing the momentum and was starting to slow down.
for this puzzle I felt like I depended more on the shapes of the pieces than the actual image. I think this is because it's a circle and so the image can be upside down, which personally gives me a bit of confusion. These change of plans helped me get my rhythm back, and as I was putting more and more pieces, I was starting to feel some hope. I was seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Doing this amazing but also hard puzzle was a true challenge and I'm not totally convinced with the time of 2 hours, 2 minutes and 35 seconds. I'm aware this is a hard one but I feel that I can do better. I lost a lot of time in the green area and I think I can avoid that. 